Have you ever needed to change your name, password, or the email you use in your Funshine Express account? With a few clicks, you can do any of these things and more in the My Account button. Let's go there now. First, be sure you're logged into your Funshine Express account. On the left, you see several links to tools you can access. The first three links refer to purchases made in Funshine Express for shipped items. The next three links on the left allow you to change your personal information in Funshine. If you'd like to change your password, click Change My Password. Enter the new password you'd like to use two times and click Save. You can change your first and last name in the Change My Name link. Remember, what you enter as your first name shows at the top of the My Lesson Plans page. When you're finished, be sure to click Save. To change the email associated with your account, click Change My Email Address. Enter the new email you'd like to use twice, enter the password, and click Save. The links on the right side of the My Account page are specific to Funshine Digital. Manage My Calendar Preferences allows you to customize your lesson planning experience. You can choose to see your state standards in the State Standard Alignments drop-down. Once you select your state, click Save. If you don't see your state standards, check back soon. We add new states regularly. Let's take a look at our lesson plans now. Click Go to My Lesson Plans, then click on Monday. Now you see your state standards in your lesson plans. The next two options on the My Calendar Preference page allow you to customize how your calendars print. If you'd like to have your classroom name print on your lesson plans, enter your preferred name and click Save. You can also hide the list of indicators if you choose to print your lesson plans. This may help you save paper and printer ink. To hide indicators on activity prints, simply click the checkbox and click Save. The next two features on the My Calendar Preferences page help you customize how your lesson plans load each month. Clicking the Auto Load Your Lesson Plans checkbox allows you to set your lesson plans to automatically load when we release them each month. Set this up by clicking the checkbox next to Yes, then select the age group you'd like to see in the drop-down. Click Save to save your preferences. Do you use the infant and toddler calendar in your class? If so, we also have an option to omit all infant activities from your lesson plans. This option is convenient for teachers who only have toddlers in their classes. To set this preference, click the checkbox next to Yes, please omit all infant activities from my lesson plans, then click Save. You can also edit your calendar domain labels in this area. Simply click Edit, enter your preferred domain labels for your calendar, and click Save. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. All of our contact information is at the bottom of every Funshine Express page. Have a great day!